Build a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time. Just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good. Best I've ever felt. Get me up. So in it. All right, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to Low Country Fishing. And in today's video, we're gonna be fishing out here in Fripp Island, South Carolina. Now, this is my first chance that I've gotten to uh, come out here to Fripp and fish. And I tell you guys, it is beautiful. This little quiet coastal community has a certain level of enchantment that uh, you have to experience for yourself. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be fishing offshore. I got an invite to come on board Captain Andrew Van Frank's 35 foot contender fishing with saltfin charters. And we're gonna push that thing out there and go as far as we can or as far as we have to go to get on some really nice fish. Now the weather is looking absolutely beautiful. It's completely flat out there and Lord knows what we're gonna get into. But either way, I'm excited to bring you guys along for the ride. So let's head over here. Let's meet the captain, check out the boat and head offshore. All right, so we made it out and we're in about 90 feet of water. And what we're gonna start off doing is just bump trolling some live baits. We have a big patch reef system here that just goes on for miles and miles. And this is a good type of area right on the edge of the stream where you can get into some really nice kingfish, hoping for some big smokers. So we'll throw about uh, probably three rods back here and just kind of slowly pull them behind the boat and see if we can get on a nice big kingfish to start the trip. All right, so let's rig up a king bait. So right here in the top of this ruby red, is a uh, 2-0 live bait hook and we'll put a treble hook right back here about mid body or so i don't want to make it too tight i want to give this fish a, the the room to kind of swim around so we don't want the uh this five wire to be too tight so something about like that looks good and the reason you want to put this this uh treble back here is because kingfish are notorious for coming back and slashing the back half of a bait and then going back for the front afterwards. So if they slash the back, then they'll get the trebles. And if they come up here to the front, they'll be met with that 2-0 live bait. And there's just a little uh, mylar there, just for a little bit of extra flash. All right, so what we're gonna do here, guys, we're gonna bump troll. So I'm gonna take this live bait and I'm gonna take the, uh, the distance from the first one that went back and I'm gonna cut it in half. So what he basically did is he went a 45 count back. So once I hit about 20, 22 seconds, I'm gonna go back with mine but somewhere right about in there, I would call that a 20 count. So I'll come on with a drag. Now, since we are using lightweight treble hooks, we don't want to keep this drag tight at all. So I'll come on with a click so we can hear it and we want it to pull off fairly easy. With these kingfish that are out here, it's just a game of wearing them out. You're not going to tighten the drag down like you would with a cobia or like you would with a fish if you're using a stiff single hook. You want to allow this thing to to run out so that right there is just about it now we'll take this we'll set it in the rod holder we'll see if we can get us a big old smoker king there you go that's what we want yeah go ahead Kai. get the young and on there we go so first main duties, he's gonna make sure that we got a good hook set, gonna set the drag, and then he's gonna hand the rod off to the client. Yeah, like we mentioned, like I mentioned earlier, the drag is really lightweight. Lightweight hooks. We're not looking to uh, 
to put torque. We're just going to wear him out. He's going to make long runs, get a little bit back, long runs, get a little bit back. There you go. So he's just explaining lean in to the knee rest here. There we go. So what we're doing here too is Andrew, the captain, he's clearing the rods. Just make sure we don't get any kind of entanglement. This is professional grade stuff, you guys. I'll go ahead and grab the gaff because they're going to call for it. I got the gaff. Beautiful. I don't know about whip yet. I grabbed the bean bag if you want to step off it. Yeah. Alright, reel up, Pete. Nice and easy. There we go, coming on board. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir, look at those teeth, huh? Alright, here we go, boys. Salt fin charters, there's Kai, holding up a nice king. Beautiful, look at those teeth. Yeah! <laughs> so now we dispatch the fish, we go night night with a club, and that's it. All right, so let's set the downrigger. So let's make a nice loop there. It'll clip into that little, uh, that little line keeper. And what that does is, once the fish hits, it's going to pop off of that little keeper. Four pound ball going down. And we're going to get that thing, how far down you want to roll that? Probably rolling about 40, 50 foot. 40 or 50 feet down. So as that goes down, you want to let a little line out here, okay? There we go. Just keep my finger on that so it doesn't backlash. He's letting it down on the downrigger. And we're going down on the main line and this is going to just cover more more water column so as we're trolling along we'll we'll float two behind the boat a little bit more towards the surface and this one here is going to be down towards the bottom now that we're going to set it at two like the others there we go There we go, hooked up. Got a little bit of a stalemate here. There he is. Doesn't look like a king. Come on. <laughs> there he comes. Looks like an AJ. Yeah. AJ. Nice, nice amber jacket. That's a gafferoonie. There we go. There we go. All right. That's a nice quality size keeper AJ there. They got to be 28 to the fork here in South Carolina. And that fish right there will definitely make length. Nice quality fish. We'll get her on the ice, brain blood, and that right there will be some nice tacos.
we go. That feels like a good one. Yep, another vermilion. We're sitting on them there. Let's see if I can get a good squeeze on her. There we go. Just throw them down here and I'll throw them in the front. There we go. Beautiful vermilion snapper. They call them bee liners as well. These are super tasty fish to eat. All right, so here's the setup I'm using for bottom fishing. Six ounce bank sinker. This is about a 60 pound piece of monofilament. Little line coming off here with a little dropper set up. Squid that uh, looks like a two watt live bait hook. And Captain's got us rigged up here with a little bit of hardware. Now you can tie these directly on to the line if you want with like an FG style knot. But if you're wanting to keep it easy, these little clips work fine with a nice little barrel swivel just like that. And the rod, it's a pin battle three, 5,000 combo. Just drop this thing straight down. Not sure of the weight of the main line. It feels something about 40 pounds, maybe 50 at the most. But this is it guys. This is very, very simple fishing here. So we'll drop it down to the bottom. I'm looking over my shoulder. We got good marks here. The captain's keeping us right dead on top of this, uh, this patch reef. I can feel it too. You drop it into it. You can kind of feel how it's just not hitting something hard, just kind of bouncing around on that coral. So there's a... Here's a bite. That's another good one. So let's see. Let's hope it's another vermilion. We can sit right here and load up with these things. And I will be happy as can be. Yep, another one. Another beauty. This one's a little bigger than the last one I caught. I'll take... There we go. Got it. That's another good one. Over, yep, screen's lit up once again. So back down we go. Man, that's instant, instant bite. <laughs> Boy, gotta love a battle three combo. I mean, this is a very busy charter boat and this thing is just grinding away. How big the triggers have to be over here? 12 to the fork. 12 to the fork. He ain't gonna make it. Really cool looking fish. Look at the colors on her. The eyeball is kind of green looking. The skin is is like leather. These things will dull your uh, your fillet knife super quick. So we'll go ahead and get her back. Try to get us another one. All right, live pinfish going down. So what I'll do is I'll let this thing hit the bottom and then I'll come up probably three maybe four cranks get it about anywhere from 10 to 15 feet off the bottom i don't want to be dragging the bottom because we are drifting i don't want to drag over all the uh, coral that's down there and rip or tear it up and then get hung up and lose rigs so just checking to see okay there's bottom come up on drag and now we'll go one two three four we'll go five turns about three feet per turn. Yeah, that's a good fish. Thank you, sir. Come on up. Ooh, I don't know, man. Uh, we're, gonna get, we're gonna net him either way. I don't know, man. He, Just hold him up. He's right there. Alright, hang on. I gotta come on behind. We're at the highest point of the boat. Yeah, alright. Look at me. Yeah, baby. Yep, got it. There we go. Oh, gonna be close. He's gonna be right at it. So they're they're 36 in South Carolina too, right? To the fork. To yep. the fork, yeah. Open your uh, back it's a, drag off. Yeah, it's open. Beauty. I think that's uh, right 36 it, to the fork, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Let's see. Thirty-six to the fork. Yeah, that is touching. Thirty-six and a half. Thirty-six and a half. Beautiful. All right, we go, boys. All right. Thirty-six and a half inch cobia, half inch <laughs> into the legal size. All right, beauty. Woo. Do it again, eh? That a boy. Yeah, night night. Good job. All right, guys. So we're gonna pack it up and head in. We're coming to the end of our day, and the wind's starting to pick up just a little bit. Not that it really matters too much with this boat but we do have to head back and clean quite a bit of fish. So we're gonna let these 900 horses eat and I'll meet you back at the filet table. and we're finally home man you want to talk about a long day out there you guys i woke up at 4 a.m this morning i was on the road by 4 30. it was about an hour 50 minutes from my front door to where the 35 contender is tied up there in frip island but you know what we had a great day out there on the water we were able to get out there and target all the big pelagics that we were interested in as well as smashed a whole bunch of bottom dwelling species which some of them are in the back of the truck that I'll be eating later tonight and tomorrow night for dinner. And you know what, guys? I had a great time in the process. So if any of you are vacationing in or around Fripp Island, South Carolina this summer, and you're interested in booking a charter that will take you out and duplicate all the stuff that you guys saw me do in today's video, make sure you look up Captain Andrew with Salt Fin Charters. Him and his crew, Ricky, are phenomenal at what they do and being on a 35 foot center console with 900 horsepower strapped to the back of that thing, uh, that boat will definitely, uh, definitely please. So thank you again for the support. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget, tell YouTube you love it by hitting that thumbs up on the way out and we'll see you next week. Take care everyone and God bless.